Good afternoon. We are at day two of Rails World. My name is Nick Schwaderer from Shopify, and I've got a couple of guests here with me today for a couple of questions. To start off, could you tell me your name, uh, where you're from, and where you work? So I'm Jorge. I work in Harvest, and I'm from Spain. I live in Madrid. And I'm Julia. I also work for Harvest, the time tracking tool, oh, and yeah. I live in Barcelona, Spain. Uh, hello, my name is Jaime. I'm from Mexico, and I work for a company in the U.S. called Kiavi. Uh, just in general, how are you finding the conference so far? Have you been to Rails World before? Is it your first or your second? It's our second. And it's I, our second. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, we have been only in the two. Yeah, yeah. We, we've been on both of them. We uh, love yeah, it. Yeah. Uh, every we, year it gets better. Yeah, you know? we're going to so, be in next one, for sure. Um, we are very excited about next yeah. one. Yes, it is my first Rails World, and it's, it's amazing. It's, uh, it's good that it's mixed across it because I think it was 57 uh, countries here, so it's, it's good. My name is Aaron Padgett, I work for Clio, and I'm a development manager, I live right here in Toronto. This is my first ever Rails World, I've been to other Ruby and Rails related conferences, but this is Rails World number one for me, so it's, it's been fantastic. Tell me about a talk that you went to and, and what kind of thoughts you had about a talk that you went to at Rails World for the people who weren't there and maybe looking to watch one, you know, uh, asynchronously. So apart from Rosa's talk, today's uh, keynote by Eileen, uh, oh, yeah, it brought too. a lot of like feelings for me because um, we can all relate to that experience. Yeah. So I think it's great for yeah. everybody to Don't show to the bosses and leadership team. I really appreciated uh, Justin Searle's talk yesterday on the empowered developer because it mixed technical tips with a brilliant overarching story with a speaker who uh, was also able to get uh, very kind of close and vulnerable with the audience. So it just ticks all the boxes. Are you ready for a two question rapid round? Okay. okay. Like boom, boom. Yeah, all right, each of you first, what is your favorite core Rails gem? Uh, it's going to be a rock attack uh, from the people in Kickstarter to Rails, do rate limiting. Rails core. Like, uh, I don't want to say anything, but like action mailbox or... Solid queue. Yeah, so usually solid queue, of course, yeah. <laughs> what is your favorite core Rails gem? I mean, like, active record or, or any one of those. Do you have a... What's your favorite one of the core Rails gems? I've been uh, using other systems, uh, and the way to do migration is like manual and very uh, different, and so active record is just there for you, so... That will be mine. Goodness without active record. It's great. You can you can make your own, uh, you know, active record alike. Okay. And then my uh, second rapid fire is, if Rails had a theme song, what genre would it be? Uh, wow! Wow! You got me there. Should be an indie song, right? Because it's for solo programmers and yeah, I don't maybe know. an indie, an indie song. Indie. You know, like an alternative for like minorities. Guitars. You yeah, know, like something stuff. you can do by yourself. If Rails had a theme song, what genre would it be? I think it'll be techno, like, yeah. yeah. But if Rails had a theme song, what genre would it be? I'm going to say Europop, but like like a stripped down minimalist Europop. That way you can add your own lyrics, chorus, uh, and of course the mix would be freely available in GarageBand so that you could uh, mix in or out your favorite tracks. Good question. Uh, I mean, the first thing that comes to mind is like going off the rails on a crazy train, Ozzy Osbourne. That's like arena rock metal, but uh, Rails is fast, so maybe it would have to be some like very fast, like um, fast-paced dance music or something like that.